Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. In this video session, I will show you how you will use file handling for the reading and writing purpose. Now, first of all, I want to show you how you will declare one object of file handling. Okay, for creating of an object, you can write bin. Next, you will write your variable name. Okay, for example, I'm writing this is object stream writer okay maybe you can put a b c as you wish okay but i have given the relevant name object stream writer as as class name is stream writer now i want to write stream writer stream writer is not display why it is not displaying yet because i did not uh, import the class okay when i will import the class which class should be import import system system dot io system dot io input and output operation when you will import this class if you will write now stream writer now you can say you can see here stream write reader and stream writer both are available here but which variable which class i want to use i want to use for the writer okay stream writer okay main thing is this okay this is our class and this one is the object of our class here maybe you can write reader it's not a problem here you can write reader it's not a problem okay this will be object but th that object will not reflection of the writer that's why we are giving the correct name we used to give the relevant name okay now what i want to do now now i want to instantiate this object i will write object stream writer equal to new now i want to instantiate this object okay new next one is the class name and this object stream writer is belongs to which class belongs to stream writer class stream writer stream writer new stream writer and here when you will instantiate object then you have to give the path give the file path of this object okay now i'm giving file path is my file my file dot txt okay where it will declare it will use the same place as i have saved this file okay in which path i have saved my this program it will use the same path and it will create one new file new file with the name of my file.txt it should be in double quote okay my file.txt okay and here i will close this file obj stream writer dot close okay now in this program what i have written here the purpose of this line is to declare an object and here i want to instantiate this object by using the path okay and what is the syntax of writing you will write the object name equal to new next one is class name okay in this way you can instantiate any object when i will run it if you will see where i have saved this path this file i have saved in desktop when i will run this program okay you see my file is created here when i will open it this file this is an empty file why because i did not write anything in this file okay just i create the file and close the file if i want to write here what i will do now i will write here this is my object now 
okay by using this subject i can use i can use obj stream writer dot write function just like we are using console dot write console dot write line console dot read console dot read line same thing is our object is obj stream writer dot write it will write suppose this is my first line in file okay just this is the message when you will run this okay now i will close this window open my file here written this is my first line in file okay now what i will do if i will change this is my first when i will write this is my second line suppose second line what it will do because this is file my dot file dot txt when i will run every time it will create a new file okay it will create a new file and what is the what is the text that is written already that will be erased and it will return the new one okay what i am expecting okay this is my first file in file that is in my file now i will close this file i want to run my application okay i will close this window and check what is written here this is my second line in file okay first line has been erased okay the first line has been overwritten here overwrite the file okay what you will do now if you will use here comma true no it will it will append every time it will append the text append the text down of the first text that is already written in the file so this is my third line i am writing here this is my third line when you will run this program so check the output my file this is my second second line in file and this is my third line in file both files are written here okay because you have written write if you will write write line then it will goes to new line okay now it is written text is on new line okay is it clear what i want to do now now here actually i want to create two file file a my file 1 and my file 2 i will put some numbers in my file 1 and my file 2 and i will add these two numbers into third file okay what i want to show here i am creating with subroutine with new subroutine sub file sub file a okay here i will create sub file a and here i will create sub file underscore b this is b file and another method that will add sub add file a add file okay i have get written i have written the name add file this is my third file how many sub routine i have created file a is the first routine file b is the second routine and file this is add file sub routine in the file a what i want to do i want to write a file a with 10 numbers i will copy this file i have written this file this text here dim control c in the file a i have written dim obj obj stream writer as a stream writer this is a class as i told you and here i have instantiated this object with the argument of my file 1.txt true and what i did i have written 10 numbers in that file loop will be executed from 1 to 
and what it will be show here object stream writer dot write line and it will write line x x mean value of x value of x means 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and all the numbers it will display into different lines okay right line i have used right line okay after this it will close the file okay now it is sub main if i want to execute this function i i must be called into main method now i am writing call file underscore a okay it will create one, my file one dot txt okay i will show you here i went i want to execute this program okay close the window and go to the path my file one has been created and what is in file one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten numbers are there okay this is ten numbers are there because i have written 10 numbers now i want to write b file if you want to ask here text from user you can also you can also ask the text from user and that text you will store into that file but for your understanding purpose i have re i have written the value from the loop now what i will do next i will copy the this is file b I will copy this text, control C, control V, here I will use it. This is object stream writer, as stream writer same, my file 2, now I am creating, no new file is my file 2 and here I am writing the values from 11 to 20 and same way I am after writing closing the file, okay. Now what I will use now in the main method, I will not call file A. If I will call, I will call file A, it will again give me 1 to 10 more numbers in that file. But I don't want to repeat, okay. Now I want to call file B, file underscore B. Okay, when you will run it, it will create another file, my file 2. Okay, now file my file 2 has been created. Now I want to check it. This is my file 2. Okay, 11, 12, 13, 20 files are there. 20 numbers are there. This is my file 2. And this is my file 1. My file 1. Okay, this is my file 1. This is my file 1, this is my file 2, all numbers are there. Now what I will do, now I will create another file. I will read the data from file 1 and file 2 and will store into file 3. How it will store? I, I want to add these two numbers and I want to store into file 3. Now here I want to copy the data. Control C. And this is add underscore file, control V. What is, is written here? Addition as integer, this is a variable. Data types is integer. Reader, reader 1 is an object of stream reader class. Reader 2 another object of stream reader class. Stream reader class 2 have two objects, reader 1 and reader 2. And one is object writer object stream writer for the writer class okay what what is written reader 1 will read the data from file 1 and reader 2 will read the data from file 2 and writer will write the data into file 3 okay same because i know that there are 10 numbers are there for x equal to 1 to 10 and what i am doing here I am getting value from file 1 who will who have ability to read the data reader 1 because reader 1 is belongs to my file 1.txt 
reader1 dot read line plus reader2 dot read line okay plus value because they will give you in format of string that's why i have type i have type casting i am using the val function that will give me the value of this okay reader1 dot read line reader2 dot read line it will be added both will be added and will store into the variable addition after this by using this writer object i want to write this one into the addition into the variable addition i want to write addition variable into the file 3 my file 3 because object stream writer belongs to my file 3 okay now i want to run this program okay Be before to run i want to comment on function b file underscore b routine okay now i will call at underscore file okay now i am calling only add underscore file because this is my main method whatever routine i will write into the main method main function that will be that routine will be used only otherwise that routine will not be executed okay now only i am calling add underscore file okay now i want to check the result This is my file is, this is third file, first file, second file, and third file. My file 1, 11, when you, when you will add 1 plus 11, 12, 2 plus 12, 14, 3 plus 13, 16, 4 plus 14, 18, and so on. They are displaying, they are, at, they are fetching the data from file 1 and file 2, and after this after fetching it will addition it will apply the addition operation and will store back into the file 3 okay in this way you have seen the read method and write method okay if you have any command if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment and if you want to get this file i have uploaded this file into the google classroom you can download from there okay thank you